bandsaw cutout is not the same thing as a rough out. This looks nothing like these. These are all character rough outs I've gotten from various sources. And I want to show you today how they can help improve your carving. Wood carving is not that hard to get into. You just got to take a knife and then you take a stick of wood and you start <clears throat> putting the knife into the wood. And all of a sudden you have committed the act of whittling, right? but caricature carving can be a bit more difficult. It can be daunting at the very least. There is a, uh, a wood carving ease language to this, this hobby that can be difficult to parse sometimes. So I wanna go over today what, what caricature carving entails, right? Rough outs. What's the difference between rough outs and cutouts and why do you need a rough out? Why would you want to get a rough out? I'll go over where you can find rough outs and what rough outs are, all of that here coming up, right? A bandsaw cutout is just that, right? You take an image, a shape, a profile of the character that you're going to carve, and you put it on the left side of the wood, one on the front side of the wood, you put it in the bandsaw, you cut it out to shape, and you get a bandsaw cutout. You may have heard of these before, right? This one I bought online from a Woodling Shack. It's a Marv Kaiserat rough out, and it came with a sheet showing the design that he had for this originally. Then you could take this design sheet, set it up somewhere where you can see it and start whittling away at this guy to turn him into that gnome, right? That's fantastic and it gives you a general rough shape and an idea on what to carve. This is absolutely an option you can do. You can buy carving books that have sheets like these inside and patterns that you can use to make a cutout and then start trying to attempt to do something larger with a guide, an idea or a template on what to do. That's what a bandsaw cutout is, right? Some of you may have known that one already, some of you didn't, but if you didn't, hey, now you know. Let's set that aside. What's a rough out in comparison? Because a rough out is different. They're not the same thing. You'll hear those words used interchangeably a lot, but a rough out and a cutout are very different. These are rough outs. <clears throat> this rough out here is from Van Kelly, and you can see on the bottom of it, it's got a, a little hole right there, a little, little hole, and you see little marks there where machine held onto the side. And then the same thing on the other side, where a machine pushed into that hole and held this right like this. This is a duplicator machine. Now, at another spot, this duplicator machine had a pattern to guide itself off of, and it would trace the pattern, while another piece of the machine would carve this general shape out to rough out the design of Delmar, in this case, right? A hillbilly. And then a character carver can take this and just do the finishing details, right? Carve in the boots, take out this section here all the way down to the bottom, carve in the boots and you can put laces on there, or you can make the boots go up high and put laces all the way up there, or you can make the pants come down and hang over the bottom edge of the boot. You can do it different ways. Keep that hand in the pocket or put it outside the pocket. Same thing to the other side. Put suspenders on him or put a floral shirt on him. Maybe give him a flannel or a sweater, or you can take this hat off the top and make him a Santa Claus, you know? You've got options on what you can do in this rough out. You don't have to just follow the guide, but you can absolutely follow the guide. Now, that's what a rough out is, right? A piece of basswood. You can get these from all sorts of outlets. This is a Roger Stiegel cowboy that I have. And Stash here even came with a rifle that you can carve out of basswood. That way you can stick it in his hand and you've got a cowboy with a rifle. Now, the nice thing about Roger's videos are that Roger doesn't just have the online classes. I mean, you have a classes you can go to and attend in person. You can watch these videos that he does on his on his YouTube video where he shows you how to carve this particular rough out, right? And you've got a couple of them that he does there so you can buy them on his site and then just watch the video. So that's an option for you. But the bigger thing here is get into a class. You can go to a class with Wayne Larimore, like I did, right? And I just did the Santa with Wayne Larimore. And I got to sit down next to him and I got to carve the Santa and, and Wayne showed me how he did eyes. And he showed me how he did the the, the, the pants and the, the, the straps here and the buttons on that and the, and the shoes. He showed me all the little details that he adds and how he adds details to the hands and the fingertips and how he adds details to the beard and separates this out. All of the things that I got to see there I was able to ask questions on because I'm sitting with an instructor at the time. And so this came out far better 
because I could ask for feedback while I did it. Now this isn't completely finished. I'm gonna put a paintbrush in the left hand. So it looks like he's painting this toy bus in his right hand. Or, sorry, a, a paintbrush in his right hand. So it looks like painting the bus in his left hand. So that's a Wayne Laramore rough out. And Roger teaches classes too. And I did a class with Roger. And so here's a, a cowboy rough out, right? A cowboy bust. But here is the finished cowboy bust that I did with Roger in his class. And that was fantastic because I got to ask questions as I went along, you know, and, and Roger showed me how he did eyes and how he did a nose. And you can see on this rough out that it's not completely done. You've got to burrow out in that eye socket there to carve the eyes in. And you can put a little tuft of hair here in the middle of the forehead if you want to, but you don't have to. And you don't have to follow it exactly. You can see this rough out has a, has a big section here that comes out that you don't see on my version because Roger gives two different examples of ways to do this rough out. One with a, with, a, with a vest and a handkerchief and another one in a pair of long johns. And I went that route, trying something different than the, the original rough out was originally designed for. And it was a lot of fun. But you can do these things with an instructor or you can buy these rough outs and give it a shot at home. Either way, this it will significantly help your carving because you're not just fighting to get to the shape. A lot of people start carving and they can't find the right shape and then they give up, right? So take a look at this is a, is a wizard from Roger Stiegel's website. And you can see in the overlay right here, the wizard that I completed when I was in the class, right? And I brought him home and I painted him up. This wizard was so much fun. I bought a second one that I can do later so I can have another one. And I might, I might do this one in a steampunk style. I'm not certain yet, but it's going to be fun and I'm excited about it. And I might not have been, I might not be as far into carving as I am now without rough outs because it's hard to not to find the general shape and you start to find the shape and you don't quite do it. And you're like, oh, I ruined this big piece of wood. And then you quit and you give up. And that makes it easy to give up, right? Getting into a hobby like this can be difficult because of the learning curve being so steep, right? This takes that learning curve down a huge amount so you can start learning the other sets of skills while you're learning how to find shapes. And when you're working around this shape here, you start to see how the shape came into the wood and it enables you to find that shape more easily on your own or find shapes like it more easily on your own when you're carving on a block of wood or when you're envisioning a rough out or a cutout that you might make on a bandsaw at home. So doing rough outs is absolutely going to help increase your carving skill and you can do them in the class. Now, while I was with Wayne Laramore at that most recent carving class I took, I also did this little witch here, right? Look at that. I mean, she is just ugly and terrible and evil and that big old chin and that crooked nose. And that was so much fun. And I got to sit there with Wayne Laramore. And when we, when we, when we finished this nose here and put that crook in it, both of us giggled gleefully because it was so fun to see this thing come to life. And it was just a blast. And those are the kind of experiences that you can have if you take these carving classes. So rough outs and cutouts, they're different things. The takeaway here is that, uh, if you want to do cutouts, you absolutely can, and they're fantastic. But a cutout and a rough out are not the same thing. So how do you even get a rough out? Like what resources do you have available, right? Well, if you live in the United States, it's a lot easier than if you don't. But either way, you can go to the Caricature Carvers Association of America website and take a look at these carvers and see what websites they've got. And then go to their websites to look and see what rough outs they have available. There are so many, I think there's 25 people that are in the CCA. At, at, at you know for max um there are so many websites available for this because there are not just cca members that are producing character carving rough outs uh roger steagle and van kelly whom i mentioned a lot because they happen to be near me and i was able to get classes with them they're not even in the cca so those are options you have for where to buy rough outs that aren't even available there there's a character carvers group on Facebook and they've got a sticky list of all kinds of uh, resources you can go to. I'm going to put some links in the description down below. So take a look at that and you can find like more rough outs. Um, Treeline USA has some rough outs from Chris Hammock and like Chris Hammock does this line of rough outs. That I think are really neat called bar flies and like, I mean, swizzle stick. Take a look right here. I want to do a swizzle stick so bad. I can't see straight. I just need to, I need to buy him the next time I'm doing an order from Treeline because like that, I think like what I want to carve, Wizard is always like the top of my list for something I want to carve. So I want to do Swizzle Stick. And when I was visiting Wayne Laramore recently, 
he does the, the bar fly rough outs for his grandkids. And every year, you know, four of those get to go out and he just did a uh, swoodle stick recently, which I thought was really neat because even these guys that are in CCA, they're still learning, they're still practicing, they're still training on things and they're trying each other's rough outs because this is the kind of hobby where it's art, right? And you get interested in other people's art. Just because you make art doesn't mean you're not going to love and adore someone else's art, right? So it's just, it's just really neat to see that dynamic happening with all these carvers who are so great on their own, loving someone else's art when someone else makes something. It just, it makes me happy to see because I'm going to be like that, like the entire time that like, if any of you get to know me at all you're, and, you, and you make something neat, I want to see it because I like this kind of thing. So uh, that, that, that segues into this, right? Come over to Instagram and follow me or on Facebook and, and, and follow me. But like Instagram is where I, where I post the most, right? I live on Instagram. I'm, I'm constantly doing stuff there. Come follow me. Interact with me. Let me see the stuff that you're making because this is a lot of fun. And this is a hobby that is so much more fun when shared together because the community around wood carving is absolutely stellar. I cannot express that enough. And I think that's all we got to cover today. Um, <clears throat> I am really thankful that you guys keep joining me on these kind of things. I hope you learned something. I hope there's some, something you can take away from this as a net positive. Um, if you like the video at all, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below. Tell me that you enjoy the video because that's, that's the kind of thing that encourages me to make more videos. Outside of that, thank you so much for watching, and uh, I hope you guys have a good week. Talk to you later. Don't forget to watch my other videos on the channel, right? They're popping up on the screen right here. Watch that one right there. Watch this one over here. Any of those, they're great videos. They're going to educate you. They're going to give you something to do. A good, good tutorial to watch, maybe. Huh? The tutorials are right there. Mm -hmm.